For most businesses and creators, pre-built templates are an easy choice, but they often come with great drawbacks like design limitations, uniqueness, and functionality restrictions. So to overcome this, we can take the help of our custom web templates in our Power Page. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. Now, custom web templates in Power Pages are a huge help for the people who want to customize their own template and use them in their website. So it is a great solution for making your own customization very easily. Now, let me tell you what we are going to learn in this video. In this video, we will take a web template from our W3 school and copy the template code and create a new template in our web templates. After that, we will use the web template to create our new page template. Then we will implement our own code to add the pages customization in our template. So first of all, here in our Power Pages website, I will go to my Power Pages management. Now here, I will move to web templates. Now I will create a new web template and I will name it my blog. For the website, I will select my website, which is employees. Now this is our website. And when I preview, we can see our website here. So as you can see, this is the site name and in the web template, I have selected the same site, site v3c6c. Now in the source, we need to add our template code. Now for the code, I will go to my W3 school. So I will write W3 school web templates. I will select this and I will choose this blog template. Click on try it yourself. And this is our template code. Now I will copy the code from here. In the template, I will click paste and before checking we will do one thing which is adding the image source so for the image source so we have added the template code now i will remove the html tag from here and from the bottom also i will remove this footer code from here then now first I will press Ctrl plus F and find the images. So I will write IMG. Now, as you can see in the source, we have slash W3 images to slash boots.jpg. We need to give the complete URL. So for that, I will go here and in my any image, I will copy the image address. This is the words one. So I will copy this and in the source, I will paste here. Now, now I will copy this URL and paste it in the other images also. So we have seven. I will go to second, paste here, third, paste in the fourth one, then our fifth, after that sixth, and last seventh. So we have added image URL in our template. Now I will click on save. So we have created our web template. Now to use that, we need to go to our page templates. So in my new page template, I will give it the same name like the web template. I will write my blog for the website. I will choose my website, which is site v3c6c now the type instead of rewrite i will select web template and in the template i will select my blog i will keep the website header and footer and click on save now i have created my page template so to use this page template we need to go to our power pages and before adding, I will synchronize the power pages. Now I will create a new page. So the page name will be blog. In the custom layout, I will select my blog, which is our new created page template. I will select this and click on add. Now, as you can see, we have our template ready here. 
so i will click preview and this is our page template added here successfully now one more thing you can see here welcome to the blog of unknown so i will sign in with microsoft intra id and as you can see here my name is showing i want to display my name here welcome to the blog of then the authenticated user's name should be visible so for that i will go to my web template code here let me filter the name is my blog okay it will be capital b then we need to find the text which is welcome to the blog of then instead of unknown i will open the curly braces and here i will write user dot full name after clicking save i will click sync again so as you can see here and if i preview here my name is displaying now if i sign out and sign in with another account let me choose this account so i have been logged in with the other name so this is how you can add the liquid code now what if we want to add another element for editing now in our power pages we can add a section here like this so we want a section to add so, so how can we add this in our custom web template so to add that i will go to my template and in the end before the last body i will write percentile include then i will write page copy after clicking save i will click sync and after syncing you can see we have our section here now i will add a spacer and i will change the layout in the first i will add a video now for the link i will go to youtube and share and copy our url paste here then i will adjust the size of the video frame increase the width now i will add the text this is the know how add me page after that i will add a button then i will copy the youtube url of the channel in the edit section i will click paste open link in a new window i will write no more okay and here i will write to know more about this click the button below instead of paragraph i will write heading 2 and make this text bold then for the alignment i will align horizontal middle and vertical will be on the center and here i will add a spacer spacer height i will increase to 35 now i will click preview so here you can see the video has been added and we have added a url here when i click i am navigated to my url now like this what if you want to add the action here in the read more so for that we need to go to our template code and 
here I will search read more now we need to add the action so I will write a which means anchor tag href equal to then I will add the URL for the URL I will paste the same URL and in my template I will paste here then instead of button this will be our closed anchor tag now when I click save click on sync after syncing I will click on preview now as you can see when I navigate on my read more button on the below we have our link and when I click here I have been navigated to the destined page so this is how you can add the action in your web template so in this video we learned how to create a web template in our power pages management then with the help of our web template we created the page template and used it in our website after that we use liquid code to display the authenticated user's name in our web template code thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge अगर आपके मन में कोई भी क्वेश्चन है तो आप कमेंट बॉक्स में पूछ सकते हैं हमें उसका आंसर देने में बहुत ही खुशी होगी धन्यवाद